1971, a group of American table tennis players participated in a tournament in China that turned out to be about so much more than just friendly competition. Last week, the same group reunited for the 40th anniversary of that historic event. This is a traditional Chinese lion dance, performed at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library at the 40th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy. In 1971, the Chinese and American World Championship teams met in Japan and struck up an unexpected friendship. The American team was then invited to play in Beijing, which paved the way for President Richard Nixon's historic journey to China the following year. It sparked something. I think it sparked the imagination of people around the world, and it helped bridge the gap. Forty years since the first diplomatic competition in Beijing, Chinese Ambassador Chu Xiaofang says the relationship between the U.S. and China is better than ever. And President Hu Jintao and President Obama, we have uh, several occasions for the meet each other in the international conference. President Nixon's brother Edward Nixon attended the celebration. He says the events of 1971 shows the power of what individuals can do and encourages young people today to learn from it. Americans are still way too provincial. We need to travel. Our children need to see the world. And when they go, don't say anything. Listen. And then listen some more. And then think. Then maybe say something after you've thought about it. The event featured live performances and friendly ping pong competitions between the U.S. and China, culminating in a match between the original players from 1971. We were very happy that table tennis became the media through which helped pave the way for establishing better relations between two of the world's greatest powers.